Good afternoon. It's that time of the year again where we're going to heat the pool up using just solar. And the other day we started heating up, it was 51 degrees. And we are running our 127,000 BTU heat pump. And right now, we are putting out 82 degree water into the pool. The actual pool temperature is up to 73. We got it set at 85, Oop, almost 74 degrees. There we go, almost up to 74. We're going up about 10 degrees a day, running it from about nine in the morning till four in the afternoon. And we are actually using the 12 kilowatt grow watt low frequency inverter and a charge controller that we can connect 22 of these solar panels, the poly 250 solar panels. We have, if you look up there, there's one, two, three, Four. We have two rows of those on this pergola and two rows on that. So we have 16 panels on there, which gives us 4,000. And then we have these six panels, which gives us 5,500 watts for that charge controller. Uh, now, what I did was I wired these in series. 11 of them in series and then down here I connected them in parallel with a branch connector so I have two positives coming in here two of the negatives coming in so I only have two wires coming in and it's less than actually 10 amps it's coming in so we don't need that big of a wire that's 10 gauge wire that we have and so we have 22 of those panels connected on one and then on the other on the actual grow watt we actually have like 35 panels 250 watt connected so in here we have the grow watt. This pool heater uses a ton of power. Right now we're at 54.3 on our battery and we're at 107 volts. Uh, yeah, it's bouncing around, but um, 84 amps coming in. It's cl a little cloudy today. We're going up to 99 amps on this thing. Right now we're doing around 90 amps and 4.72 we've gone up as high as 5500 watts 5.5 k when the clouds aren't above us and it's pulling it's a load of 6.68 kilowatts and we're pulling 26 amps out of our battery but you cannot parallel these together but what I did was, this has two charge controllers on it. So you can do 6,000 on each one. You can actually do more than that. And then I have this over here, this charge controller. And this one is actually bringing in 44.8 amps. This is bouncing up as high as 65 amps on that. So the nice thing about this is, I just added... 5,500 watts onto this 12,000 watt inverter. And I can only produce 100 amps on this of output. But this thing right now, I had this producing um, 99 to 100 amps a few minutes ago. And this see this is climbing over here 
this was at 65 amps. See, we're going up. So, got 65 amps on this and 100 amps on this. And our battery's charged at 55.1 right now while we're running this. And I do have this hooked up to the grid assist. So, down there I have a breaker box and it's turned on. That's a 50 amp breaker down there. So if this drops below 48 volts on this display right here, the grid will kick on. And then we also have that running into this panel, 200 amp panel, that 50 amp fuse right there. So things <laughs> using like 150, 160 DC amps to run that and keep the batteries charged. And you can see right now it's kind of cloudy out here. So as those clouds come over, it drops me from 99 to 100 amps down to about 80 some amps. And then as soon as the sun has no obstruction on it, it goes right back up again. There we go. We're at 96 amps right now. 94. So... If I try to run that pool heater just on this alone, it, it can do it, but it drops it down and it constantly shifts from this grid kicking on and kicking off. But with this, I'm, at, I'm staying at 55 to 56 volts charging my battery while I'm running that. And, but I have to have this assisting it over there. So that is a monster. But the nice thing is, is with this added, this on here, this is 500 volt DC in with a 100 amp output. And you got to keep this amps from the panels coming in below 22 amps. It wants to be around 18 amps, but you, you can go up to max of 22. Right now it's at 335 volts with those 22 panels. 11 in series, 11 in series, and then those parallel together with that branch connector. And we're producing to, yesterday I had this kicking up as high as almost four kilowatts, while this was producing 5,500 kilowatts. <laughs> it was really rocking yesterday. See, we're 96 amps on this. So 96, like I said, plus this over here. So, and it keeps going up and down depending on those clouds. But it, it's not dropping below like 52 volts over here. So we're, we're keeping it charged really well. So at the end of the day, it's still charged up, full charge. And we're trying to take the strain off the battery, but... Um, I finally got that pool heater to where I can run it all day long. And I can actually start this up at like 8 o'clock in the morning, and it'll be grid assist, back and forth, back and forth. It might go like 20 seconds grid assist, 20 seconds just solar, and then switch over to grid. And it's seamless. It doesn't shut down my pool heater. It keeps it running because it's like milliseconds to switch that over on that auto transfer. And it just basically kicks in the grid here, to charge my battery up to the, the whatever I set it at. I think I have it set at 56. So once it hits 56, this grid will turn off. And you can see right now it's off. If it was on, there'd be a line going over and down and showing it's on. So, but I had to um, um, swipe some panels from this one and this one. So I think... See, this one only has one charge controller. This one has two charge controllers. But it's 100 amps output on this just isn't enough to run that. So, just wanted to show you that. And that beast is running out there. <laughs> it's so much power. Before I put that... Um, um, the uh, soft start on... It was pulling almost 180 amps inrush on each of a leg of 240. So the 120 leg and 120 leg, it was, 
showing when I started it up close to 180 amps in rush. This was like this three and a half ton was right around 76 on inrush before I put the soft start on and dropped it down to about 18 to 22 amps in rush. This when I put the soft start on dropped it down to uh, about 40 to 50 59 inrush amps. You can see what this is. So there's the specs on this thing. And that's in case you want to look it up. But uh, this is a Pentair uh, Ultra Tempt. One, was it 12.7 uh, ton heat pump? And man, that air is coming out like 35 degree cold air. <laughs> but it's sucking the heat out of that water as it goes through. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's coils and it goes through tubes and coils. So this is a four ton, three and a half ton, 12.7 ton, big beast. That one's a uh, 18,000 BTU. So that's a one and a half ton pool heat pump. I can use this once I get it up to temp and I keep that uh, thing on to keep the temperature um, up during the day right now we're bringing that water into the pool at 82 degrees so doing really well on that and we're now at 74 degrees on that so it's it's been getting into the high 40s at night so a couple more days, it'll be up to about 87 degrees, which is where we like it. And we'll be swimming in the pool in March. And it's supposed to be in the 60s during the day. So <laughs> keeping that pool around 87, 89 degrees is fabulous. So, and these panels, these 330 watt mono panels that I put on the back wall, those are going into that 6,500 watt MPP solar chart uh, inverter. And that's only 120 volt. It's not split phase. But man, having those on that back wall charges those lithium iron phosphates up in no time at all. Because I'm getting shade off of that, those palm trees there. And you can see down there that... Uh, these are all in the sun over here. But then as we go over here, you can see some shading right here. And then those two panels right there are almost completely in shade. And that's still charging up and keeping that at full charge. No problem. I got those for $35 a piece. And man, they look brand new when I picked them up. I got those from Santan Solar. Awesome deal on those. So just wanted to show you that uh, that's my largest appliance I have to be able to run on this thing is running that around 150, 160 DC amps between a charge controller and the 12 kilowatt low frequency off-grid inverter grow watt. That's a lot of power. You can do it. Now, we got that pool cover on, and I think I lost three degrees overnight from the temperature that I had by four o'clock in the afternoon yesterday when I turned off my pool heater. So in, I think it was like uh, 16 hours, I lost three, three degrees. So three or four degrees, that's not too bad at all. Definitely making it back up and be able to get up higher than I was yesterday. Um, so we'll be able to, like I said, a couple days, we'll be up to 87, 89 degrees in that pool. And we will be swimming in March. And it's still in the 60s for the day. And it's actually going to get down to 41 overnight. 
in the next couple of days. And this thing will have no problem when I fire it back up in the morning. And my uh, great electric bill is scheduled to be about $70 this month. 50 of 50, 55 of that is just surcharges and taxes and stuff before you even start charging for the electricity. So not really using too much electricity at all. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day.